Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic, looking at kind of the second half of our work on categorical logic. This is going to be categorical syllogisms. This video is going to be something of an introduction. So, what are categorical syllogisms? Well, they look like this. All animals are mortal, all men are animals, therefore all men are mortal. This is going to be an example of an AAA categorical syllogism, and it's in fact going to be a valid syllogism. Should be clear this has two premises and a conclusion. Another example might be some dogs are mammals, all dogs are quadrupeds, therefore some quadrupeds are mammals this is an I A I categorical syllogism, and it's also going to be valid. We can also have categorical syllogisms that look like no clouds are potato chips, all potato chips are fatty foods, therefore some fatty foods are not clouds. This is an E A O categorical syllogism, and it's going to be something called conditionally valid. That means it's not valid for Boole or for the modern interpretation, and it's only valid for Aristotle if a specific term in this argument exists, in this case, the middle term, potato chips. No horses are buildings, no ideas are horses, therefore, no ideas are buildings. This is going to be an E, E, E categorical syllogism, and it's going to always be invalid for Boole as well as for Aristotle. Categorical syllogisms always have two premises and a conclusion, and we're going to understand why that is and what that looks like in the following videos on major, minor, and middle term, as well as the major premise, the minor premise, and the conclusion. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.